Okay, so I'm going to show how you can do a free upgrade from Windows 7 or Windows 8 to Windows 10 for free. Um, this is through uh, Microsoft, um, so it's legitimate and everything. Um, make sure your Windows 7 or Windows 8 is activated properly. Um, this will work with like OEM computers and stuff that came with Windows. So as long as it's activated, you should be able to do this. So first what you want to do is go to Microsoft's website, this microsoft.com slash en dash us slash software hyphen download slash Windows 10. Um, or you can just Google Windows 10 installer or something, Google Yahoo, Bing, whatever search engine you want to use, and you'll see this um, download Windows 10. So click that one. Okay. After you do that, you'll see this. There's this update. So if you're on Windows 10, then you can run this update, and it'll update your Windows 10 to the latest Windows 10. Um, to be safe, I would back up your computer. There's another video I made, um, or at least clone your hard drive or something. So if something goes wrong, if your hard drive fails or something, then your data will be safe. Um, this shouldn't affect your data, um, but there's a chance it could make some of your software or things not work properly. So to be safe, do a clone of your hard drive to another one or an SSD. Keep that as a backup before you do this process just in case it messes up anything. Then you can just switch back. Okay, so after you go to the website, go to download tool now. Click that. Click it. Okay, click that one. It should pop up with the download. There you go. Um, I'll just save it to my desktop. It'll make this media creation tool, depending when you do this, the numbers might be different because it's just the version number that they come out with. So after that, it'll have this icon here. Just click it or click it on wherever you downloaded it to. So it'll show that little Windows thing, getting things ready. So right now it's going to detect like what version of Windows you have, if it needs to be upgraded or updated or whatever. Um, and this will also allow you to create like a bootable USB um, or DVD, I believe. Um, but if you create a bootable USB, just know that um, it'll likely wipe everything off your USB. Um, and you'll need at least an 8 gig USB drive. So this is useful as well if you need to create a bootable Windows 10 USB in case your computer crashed or you need to reinstall Windows 10. Um, and you can also do Windows 10 without the license. It'll work. It'll just have like an annoying watermark saying your Windows isn't activated or something. Um, but yeah, so after you do that, you can go through this and then just accept the agreement. Okay, it'll get some more things ready. It's going crazy. I don't know what's going on. I think it doesn't know what to focus on since it's a screen. Put my hand here. <laughs> Nope, that didn't work. All right, well, where'd it go? Okay, so it's just gonna run through this, getting things ready. Once again, you can use this to create a bootable um, Windows 10 installer. So if for some reason your hard drive crashed and you need to replace your hard drive, you can get on any Windows 10 computer and then you can use this to create. So here it tells you, you have the option, create a installation media, USB flash drive, DVD, or ISO file. So you can actually even create a disk image if you want to use another software to put the image on a USB or anything. Um, so if you're running Windows 7 or Windows 8, you can just leave it on this upgrade PC now. Click next. It'll go through all this stuff. It'll check if everything is okay. Um, and then it'll give you the option to um, install and upgrade Windows 10. So that's pretty much it. I don't want it to do it, so I'm going to close it because I already have Windows 10 on my computer. Um, I don't know what it's going to end up upgrading if I do that. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, after that finishes, your Windows 10 should be activated and everything. Um, if you want to make sure, uh, what you can do is you just right-click this. Let's see if it'll show in the system here. So you just right-click the little flag icon and go to System. And it should show here, let's see, does it show Windows 10 Home installed? It shows when I installed it. Um, it looks like it actually doesn't show here. Okay, so if it doesn't show here, the easiest way is you just open a folder. Um, 
and then once you're in the folder go to this PC right click this PC go to properties and then you can actually see okay so here it shows at the bottom Windows activation is activated so yeah this computer came with Windows 8 and then I ran that and I was able to upgrade it to Windows 10 so yeah you can do this on Windows 7 computers and Windows 10 and I've confirmed this working on a whole bunch of computers so um, yeah if you want to upgrade Windows uh, Microsoft still lets you do the free upgrade it's just not like automatic so you have to go to Microsoft's website and download that um, and if you want to create a normal account because I don't like using the Microsoft um, they want you to use like a Microsoft um, Microsoft account so that way it like syncs up your desktop and other settings and things I get kind of scared of that because I don't know if it'll sync up viruses if you get a virus or something um, or if it'll sync other things that you don't want it to sync and then also since your password will be linked to your Microsoft account I'm worried if someone ever hacked my Microsoft account I'd be locked out on my computer so to avoid that what you do when you set everything up just don't connect to the internet or turn off your internet at home while you're setting up your account and it'll let you create a normal user account okay um, that's pretty much it hopefully this video helped you um, uh, if you have any questions just leave a comment below and if it helped um, please help me out by liking and subscribing because um, that'll really help grow my channel and help me build this thing out all right thanks for watching bye